Hello and welcome back, Squirrel Nation. We are diving on in. Um, my voice is a little tired. I did stream for like four hours today. So if my voice is a little weak at some points in the video, please forgive me. But overall, I think I will be on my game today. So don't worry. Um, deciding what we're going to go. So I think in new meta, I like to show you all the different things that I think are good. Um, I do personally think three hunters is the best, most consistent comp right now, but I've been showing you a lot of hunters, so I'm not going to do hunters. Um, other things I think are viable. I think six, uh, assassins have a good place in the meta. The reason why is hunters are weak to assassins. Hunters are also weaker early or, uh, well, early yeah early to mid um and then they become very powerful actually i'll say they're weak early and then they become very powerful so uh hunters kind of do well against them in that way also and i guess those are basically the thoughts i'm going so what i'm thinking is i could either show hunters or i could show feather i think a problem with feather as the meta develops is i think feather might have issues because feather is kind of countered synergy wise it's countered by hunters uh in reality the countering is not too bad but i do think um feather could struggle in games when a lot of teams start going for hunters so that is something to keep an eye on and i think i might start working my way towards um assassins here and <clears throat> get our items out there like I said, I'm not going to go Hunters, that's why I'm not grabbing an E-Ranger or anything. Let's see what people are doing. Somebody early at Garrus, so they're happy. Um, another person with Soulbreaker, a God of War. Divinity, I don't think is in that great of a place. It's definitely not a Tier 1 build anymore. It's maybe Tier 2. I might like border Borderline Tier 2 build, to be honest. So that's my thought on that. Uh, Glacier... I think Glacier is good, but it's not quite as consistent to me. And the reason why is it's too heavily reliant on one piece. And that one piece is Berserker. It's like basically you get the Berserker or you don't. And if you don't get Berserker, you're going to struggle for damage, in my opinion. So that's why I don't really like Glacier as much. Um, and the higher you move up the ladder, consistency matters more and more. At the lower ranks, interestingly... Um, getting first place a lot and losing some games actually will help you climb because for first place you're going to get a huge amount of points and the last place doesn't really hurt you that much but when you're starting to compete at the very very top of ladder it's the opposite first place isn't that big of a difference between third place but if you get like sixth seventh or eighth place you're really gonna hurt like you'd have to get a first place and you would still probably be at a deficit for points <clears throat> so that's kind of my that's why I look down on Glacier a little bit, because I feel like you can get first places with it, but there's more games where you're not going to get a Berserker because he's highly contested, and you're going to end up getting sixth place. So that's just kind of my two cents on that. And pairs, like always. Um, we're going pairs here. We're going to level because there's nothing else I want, and I can get some other nice stuff on the board. Let's go for our good old triangle and yeah none of that i need so i'm either assassins i could also do feather um yeah we'll we'll we'll, we'll see what it evolves to today i won't force as much i'll just kind of play my my criteria today is just going to be i'm not going to go hunter so that's going to be my constraint just because i don't want to show you all the same builds like i said and hopefully i've shared enough thoughts on the meta to kind of let you all know what i'm thinking about that Okay, so that does give us some druid. Gives us some feathers, so that's nice. Okay. Or I could get my other assassin and put that in. Stone spirit's not that great. So let's go for this. And take out the tusker. I think that's good. We're happy with that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Um, so now we have feather open. We got one of the harder feathers to get. We have assassin going. Um, yeah, we're in a, we're in a solid place right now. We'll see if we can hit the taboo witcher more. Um, yeah, and go. What are other people going? So we do have one hunter. He has the dwarf sniper. By the way, there's two key uh, three hunter builds. There's hunter feather, 
and then you go Wind Ranger with the um, uh, Sh Shining Archer, and then Siren, and then the other Hunter build normally gets Dwarf Sniper and a Garrus Ranger with Siren. So both of them have Siren, but the other two Hunters are different. So I think that is another thing to kind of keep an eye out on. And do I want... <clears throat> um, out of that, probably not. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want the rest of that. I was kind of thinking about grabbing the um, Evil Knight just as a tank. And actually, I might do that. That That is a better tank than the, um, the Chieftain. And the reason why is, one, it has more health, and two, it has 10 armor instead of 5. So those are both things that help a lot. And I may end up selling Evil Knight next round just because he's just filling a tank role right now. And I actually want to Econ. So we'll, we'll see. Um, grab that and level. So normally you guys have seen, there's sometimes I choose to stay at the lower levels like level 4 and level 5 longer. And there's some games where I choose to rush up. So for some of you wondering why that is, I rush up when I've already got my low level 2 stars. And here I want to level, and okay, we're going to grab that in. I think in this case, because I do want to kind of clear out stuff that's not going to be used. Um, I can't get above 10, actually, so we are just going to keep um, in my Evil Knight. And things that can go... I think we're good there right now. Okay, but anyways, so in this case, I want to rush to level 6. So you can see I'm rushing to level 6. One, I'm wind streaking. Two is I already have my low level 2 star with my soul breaker that can kind of carry me through mid game. Um, so I want to get to 6 so I can start getting my 3 cost and my 4 cost units right away. So that's why. Um, good. Like a taboo witcher would have been nice, but once again I'm not even sure I'm going to go for feathered. So I don't really need to force a taboo witcher. <clears throat> okay. And at this point, assassins, I can either mix in another assassin, I can mix in a wind ranger. I think I'm actually going to go wind ranger. I'm going to sell the evil knight. That gets us to 10 gold and that gets us feather. So I think that's the way we're going to go with this. And actually, you know what? Let's corner ourselves here. I'm going to pull my assassins over. Um, but yep, we'll go like this. And tuskers usefulness is dwindling so i probably will be getting rid of him pretty soon here see how we're doing against other people so we're winning but not heavily winning anymore okay <clears throat> and looking what they're going one hunter player two glaciers and then some in betweenies so yep that's fine but now i'm gonna hug the corner i do want to be above 20 gold um, yeah, we're just going to stay here for now. And actually, I want to put her back because they're ranged. So I don't want them. I don't want them where the soul breaker is because they have attack range. So they might get stuck with whatever my Trent protector engages on. So that's why I'm putting the soul breaker for it a little bit. Um, this is golems, so it doesn't matter. But when we next round, when we're attacking people, um, it will matter. And I will get rid of Tusker because I want to get above 20 gold. And I, I don't think Mage is viable until they introduce back in like the Blight Sorcerer and the Ogre Magi. I don't think Mage is because if you go Mage, you need to go six Mage in my opinion. And yeah, it's just not a good thing if the Mage pool is limited like it currently is. Okay, so we got that. Um, bam, nice. We hit the Taboo Witcher, so that's good. Uh, Venom is not an optimal assassin, and it kind of looks like I'm switching towards, um, Feathered, because I have a key feather, I have another key feather, um, and also I almost have him to two star, and Venom, even if I went assassins, it's not an optimal assassin, and if, if I don't take him, I can econ here, so I think I'm gonna econ, um, I kind of hesitate because I am on a win streak, but I don't think I can really hold my win streak and get unless I get lucky because I'm going to update my Wind Ranger, but that's basically what I can do. I guess I could get the Trent Protector too, so eh, I don't know. Th th this is a, a rougher choice to be honest. I will pick him up. I will pick him up. 
because he is a strong assassin. He's actually one of the strongest assassins, um, especially early game. So grabbing him probably is a good thing. So there we go. I get another druid. The dwarf sniper. I might grab him. He's such a strong piece and contesting him hurts my enemies because we know that the people going for hunter want to grab dwarf snipers. And I don't want them to get early two star dwarf snipers. You can see one, two teams have him. Three teams have him. So me contesting them is just making their teams worse. And plus I can mix him into my team composition because I can either go feathered with three hunters or I could go feather for the assassins. Um, right now I'm building up my druids, my feather. Um, so I do have the assassins, but right, I could easily mix in the dwarf sniper into that. Um, once again, I'm going to limit myself from going the three hunters. But what I meant by the three hunters was actually the three hunters warrior, not the three hunters feather. <clears throat> Feather, I think it's very easy to switch between um, either variant, the Assassin variant or the Hunter variant. And yes, so anyways, we're here. Um, I am wind streaking. People are catching up. I'm actually going to roll down a bit here because I am close to a few upgrades. Nice. Ooh, full bench. Um, okay, let's grab that for now. Okay, if I was going the Warriors, I would definitely pick up the... Um, I would pick up the Doom, but in what I'm going, I don't want to pick up the Doom. So unfortunately, we don't hit an upgrade. I do hit one of the pieces we want. I was hoping to hit either my Venom or my Queen of Pain, so that did not materialize, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I do want to try to hold on to this win streak, if at all possible, and it looks like we are going to lose it because we didn't get upgrades, but that's how it kind of works. Um, the 10 gold hit, eh, you know, I could have been at 50, but it's not a big deal. Sometimes that risk pays off, sometimes it doesn't, so whatever. Um, and now that I'm not on a win streak, I am going to be smart and commit and bam, that makes my commitment easy because now I have the hunters and I can get rid of the other stuff. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm actually just going to go down him. I might keep, I want to add in my feather. I want to get my mana item over here and I think we'll kind of hang out like this for right now. Positioning. Let's go something like this. Get our items on there. Yep, that's good. Okay. And now I'll get rid of Dwarf Sniper. I'll get rid of all my excess. So we are around here. And yep, that looks good. So. Um, I do want to see if there's mages. Like this team I'm fighting is mages. So Marine might help me. And then you have to think about what Marine you want to introduce. In my case, it would probably be Tsunami Stalker to go with my siren but it could be an abyssal guard or it could be a um shadow crawler or sorry not a shadow crawler abyssal crawler so those are kind of things that i'm tracking in the back of my mind there we go we're going to focus on leveling i want to get to level eight um i'm winning i'm in no rush at this point in the game so or i'm leading in health i shouldn't say winning winning is the wrong word i'm ahead in health first place my economy is the highest in the game, or tied for the highest, so I don't need to panic roll, I don't need to do any of that, I can just get to level 8, reroll from there, try to hit my Shining Assassin, hit my Lone Druid, right, get my, uh, develop my 3 star Druids, so those are my goals right now. And yeah, so there we go. I think something I've been learning and updating to my game is when to when to keep a minimalistic bench i think when you know what comp you're going for it's very good to keep a minimal bench until you know what comp you're going for though i think a lot of times it's better to keep a filled bench so you have a lot of flexibility so if you notice i was in between assassins in between feather in between kind of like assassin feather or hunter feather and i just kept that bench but as soon as i decide as soon as i get a key piece which in this case happened to be the Medusa, then I, I commit to the decision. So I think that's a very important thing to do. And there we go. Now we can get our synergy in. I didn't put the synergy in before because three hunters that are one star is not all that strong. And as you can see, the soul breaker has been kind of leading me in DPS. So I didn't want to remove him. So um, anybody who was wondering that, that is why I was doing that. This 
The thing about Medusa is her ultimate's not really for damage. That's why I was kind of, I wanted to put more thought into this item because a main component of this is the 20% skill damage. And I mean, that was my hesitation. Honestly, if I could get this item back, I would put it on my um, Wind Ranger because his ultimate is the damaging ultimate out of this group. That's why I'm not combining it, upgrading this item because I do want the Mana Crystal on Siren but at the same time, if I get another Mana Crystal and I'll probably put the, sa the same item onto my Wind Ranger is probably more the way I would go with it. Once again, we just need a level. I'm in no panic. I'm still doing fine. My comp is doing fine. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep chugging away. <clears throat> so. And... And we're going to get to level 8 way in advanced. So keep in mind, normally you get to level 8 by round 21. So... And that's if you have 50 gold. So 50 gold plus level 8 is normally round 21. And I, it looks like I'm going to make it there round 18, maybe 19, depending on what happens. Um, so that is... I'm, I'm doing very good. I'm very happy with my position in the game. And it looks like this could be close. No, so we are going to lose this, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Yeah, if we would have got the Wind Ranger, it would have been good. How do we do? Second place, we beat. So that was just unfortunate. There we go. Good, good, good. Beautiful. And I am in no rush. Um, so basically, my Trent Protector and my um, Wisp, or sorry, Warpwood Sage and my Wisp Seer are one away from getting to three stars. And I do have to hit the Lone Druid, obviously, but that is that. Um, and actually I'm going to put this onto my Wind Ranger. I should have done that before, but it's okay. And somebody else got their sirens, yep. Um... Okay, my siren does get her ult off first because I do have that mana item onto her and I also fronted her. So I think that is that, but that did not help me. And yeah, there's our three hunter person. Oh, actually that person's going six hunter, never mind. So... Uh, that's going to give my feather issue, but, oh, actually this person's going to be rough because, and this is why I can see feather kind of having issues. My advantage as a feather player is going to be that I hit, I hit, um, my three stars quicker. The problem for me is going to be, and I'm deciding what to put in. Um, the problem is going to be when we go super late game is those marksmen are going to be a big big issue i kind of want to put in door sniper to be honest but i don't i i want to keep my economy and there's nothing i really want to sell i could sell the taboo witcher in case i lose but i think we'll we'll just go with the wind ranger i'm going to be disciplined and plus it's just if i start going door sniper it's too tempting to switch switch away from what i want to show this game but anyway, so going, the Glacier shouldn't be a problem later on, especially once we hit our six feathered. What I'm looking for is a Shining Assassin. That would be the thing I would love to add into this comp. And I obviously have an extra space where my my second Wind Ranger is taking. So that's that. <clears throat> By the way, if you look, Soul Reaper leads my DPS meter, even though I have two Wind Rangers. So that is exactly onto the point that I was trying to make. Okay, two epics, tons of epics, all of them not what I want. That is really unfortunate. There we go, beautiful. And let's get that in. And now positioning. I'm going to actually, no, I want to keep the square. The reason I want to keep the square, and actually I think I'm going to move up even more. The reason why is because um, my siren, because she's only one star, I want her to be able to hit the board. And if I, if I put myself into a corner, she's not going to hit the board. I'm trying to think, is there a way for me to get above 50 gold? And there's not a way that I want to do, right? Both of these are now one one piece away from three starring. And my unicorn I want to keep so I can get those to three star. And the one gold is just not worth it. And there we go. So there's that. Um, I'm thinking my egg I'm holding. Siren is going to be the most contested piece. So I'm actually, I could use it on Lone Druid. I know that would be an immediate power upgrade. However, I have to consider that we saw Siren is heavily contested, right? So there is already one team that has, two teams already have Sirens, and we know that almost half the game wants Sirens, right? So getting a two-star Siren is gonna be hard. Um, the Lone Druid, I am contested by like the person I'm fighting, but 
I mean, Lone Druids, you need less to make a two star, and also it's less contested in this game. So I don't really, even though it will give my team a, a power spike, I don't want to do it just because of long term, right? The, the long term vision. So once again, I'm ahead in health. I've still been winning, right? I'm not getting a win streak, but I am winning like this. So I don't need to make panic decisions. I don't need to, I don't need to rush. I can kind of hold back my power spikes and really aim for late game, like aim for winning the game. Okay, beautiful. So there's a two star, nice. Rolling. No, unfortunately. Oh, there we go, beautiful. Okay. And I want that, and now it's time to die. Your time has come, and then that puts me back above 50, so that's awesome. Um, armor... I could also give it to Shining Assassin, but I'm going to buff up my Warpwood Sage a bit. So we're going to go like this. If there are enemy Assassins, they'll first jump to Shining Assassin, then they'll jump, uh, do a second jump onto my Marksman, so that's why it's nice to put her in an opposite corner. Also, sometimes she'll draw the enemy tank, like the um, God of War and then it will let my DPS kind of hit their back line. So that's another good thing about cornering your assassins. And if that happens, I'll point it out, but it, it's kind of hard to understand, but yes. <clears throat> and there we go. So, yep, we're just gonna stick to our comp. By the way, something interesting that came up, or actually I'll mention it after we do re-rolling. Oop, there we go. So now our level nine's looking good. Um, hmm. And actually right now, because of the way things are going with my siren, I think I might actually switch this way. And then what that's gonna let me do is that is gonna allow me to scoop myself into a corner like so. And actually, you know what? Let's do this good old technique. Um, yep, there we go. And... I am gonna want in three, I am gonna go to level nine. Uh, the main reason is I definitely wanna get Tsunami Stalker with my Siren to give me the Marine buff. It is gonna help me even against the Marksman because the Marksman do have high damage ultimates like Wind Ranger, Dwarf Sniper. So um, I do wanna get that in. And as you can see, I just almost killed his Marksman because of my Wind Ranger. So um, the keep in mind, like Marine buff is not just against Mage, it's against strong ultimate people like watch second alt and bam all of his uh hunters are dead so i do want to get to nine so i can get that in so that is on my mm, top of my mind unfortunately i do want to hit actually the stuff i want to hit is two cost and four cost so there's no reason for me not to just go to nine okay so hopefully that makes sense to everybody but i'll explain if you notice my my two cost at the next level are still 30%. My penalty is to three costs. Three costs go from 30% to 25%. But my four costs also give me a higher chance from 15 to 20% if I level. So if you look at the things that I need to get to two star, I need a lone druid, I need a shining archer, and I need a shining assassin. So that's a one two cost and two four costs. So I should go to level nine to get them. That's actually more efficient use of my gold. Um, and once again, I have the health to do it. So that is what we are going to do. Okay, so there we go. Uh, my economy is still strong, which is good. And I might actually just go to nine now because people have rolled down. So the next highest economy is 30 gold. So I don't want to get too greedy with my economy. And this is a minion round. So after this round, I will level to nine. And then we're going to reroll at level nine, probably down to around 30 gold. And actually, on that note, let's see if these other people are even attempting to level. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so the highest ones are 8 experience, so that means they need 24, which is 30 gold. And the highest gold is actually this person. So even him, he would be down to 10 gold if he levels to 9. So if I level to 9, I can easily reroll down to 30 gold, and I'll still have the highest economy in the game. Okay. And yeah, like I said, the siren's gonna be rough, right? Um, so we basically knew that, so that's not anything surprising. That's beautiful, onto my Trent, good. Um, this will probably actually go, let's see. Oh, nice, another mana crystal. So I can either put that as a second item onto my siren, or I can put it onto my Wind Ranger to combine the item. And let's reroll and worry about items after. Nice, good. 
So like we said, there's our two cost. I might actually try to take her to three. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll stop at 30 like that. Um, once again, I'm not going to use my, I'm not going to use my egg yet because siren. Siren is key. I, I want to hit that siren. So yeah. Um, yeah, she dies before getting alt off. Um, if I put another mana crystal on my siren, the, the pro is that I don't have to front her and she'll still alt very, very quickly. The con is right now she's one cost, so if I don't put her in the front, she won't even hit people anyways. Uh, yeah, that becomes a hard part. So we're, we keep losing to the other druid player, but we're beating the other people, so that's just unfortunate matchmaking for us. And that person also did go to level 9, so that is also unfortunate, but um, yeah. We're going to keep rerolling. Yep, 30 is the highest. Somebody's at 38, but I, I count everything within the same 30s, 40s, etc. as being the same. Um, there we go. Yes, beautiful. Bam, there's a 3 star, and we are right on that cusp. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I think I am going to combine this onto my Wind Ranger because yeah i think i am okay and do that i want the burst damage and then i guess actually let's put this on my siren this yeah we can go on to my shining assassin i'm not going to combine that obviously well i guess i shouldn't say obviously and that's actually why i wanted double those items if you notice both my um both of these what is it called uh, pulsing staff they hit the dwarf sniper so he was almost dead as soon as the game started and then my shiny assassin literally just jumped and insta killed him so let's see how those upgrades help me this is the person who keeps beating me but we just got multiple upgrades um so let's see how they helped us he's not stomping me he's still beating me but he's not stomping me as hard so that's nice um also i'm sitting on an egg so i do and we are sitting on that egg to try to win so i mean that that's why that's happening there we go. Okay. And, ah, oh, man. The unicorn trolled me. Would I, would, should I mix in a unicorn for the extra damage? I'm kind of at this point tempted because it'll be a three star and this one cost uh, siren is not really doing much for me. So I think I am going to do that actually. And we're going to see. I'm going to get rid of the taboo because that'll help me. Um, if I win Econ, and I think I should, of course, I fight, <laughs> oh my gosh, I fight the one, like, magic person as soon as I remove my siren. Uh, that's just my, my luck. Oh well. Um, Wind Ranger so close to ulting. If he ults, that's gonna kill, like, half, oh, nope, and Flame Wizard wrecks me. Okay, well, unfortunate. Really bad timing on my part. So, there we go. And see, I wrecked this person, so I'm just fighting unluckily. But hey, that, that is the way it goes. Oh, I hope I can hit my Siren. And I think we are almost in YOLO roll territory. Not quite there, but we're we're approaching. I will roll down a little bit more. Okay, that's beautiful. Because now that lets me... Oh, I already... Oh, never mind. Okay. Do this. Boom, do that. And now I actually want to... Let's scoot up. No, scoot up. Er okay. We're going to do the good old spread out here. And that's just so the um, AoE stuff doesn't hit me as much. The assassins are basically going to get onto my uh, marksman no matter what. But there's no six assassin teams. Or I don't think I saw any six assassin teams. Yeah. The, the only assassins are three assassin. And it's only one player. So I don't need to keep myself cornered. I can actually spread out my marksman to minimize damage. And I moved my siren up the up the screen so that she's going to ultimate everybody. And was that the person who was stomping on me that we just beat? I think, oh no, Dan. I think Dan is the person who's been stomping on me. So there's that. Um, okay. Bam. And I am just going to roll from here to see what I can get. Okay. So there we go. We are going to combine that, do that. I was trying to see if we can hit the Tide Hunter. We don't, so it's not a big deal. Um, this will go on to here and here in case I get another mana item. And grab that just to combine, sell that. Um, yeah, so basically shining. Actually, I don't need any more unicorns, so I can do all unicorn tricks. 
and everybody's economy is dead. Nobody's going to go to 10. Um, there's no way their economies aren't going to support it. If they try to get that greedy, they're probably going to lose the game. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, oh, beautiful. Onto my Trent. So that is great. This item is really, really nice. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. But I think I might switch in my Shadow Crawler if I make a three star. I'm actually even tempted to pull out. Oh, no, I can't pull out the Witcher, but anyways, let's switch up our positions. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. The enemy tends to be on that side. We're going to go like this. Here we go. And we're going to put these. Er, there we go. There we go. And. Oh, I was trying to switch them, but I wanted to spread out. OK, this is the person who's been stomping on me. So if we can do well against them, that would be really nice. Oh, my gosh, my taboos on there or their taboos on my um, tide or tsunami stalker. So that's really unfortunate. Please kill their. Please, thank you. Okay, my Wind Ranger does kill their um, uh, Shadow Crawler, so that's really nice. And this is going to be kind of close. Looks like it depends how my Shadow Crawler or my uh, Shining Assassin does. Okay, and we're in the top three, so that's nice. We're fighting one of the other people in top three. And yeah, he's still beating me pretty heavily. But how has he been doing against first place becomes the other question. Okay, Tsunami, nice. YOLO roll, no point not to YOLO roll at this point. And nope, oh, the one. Okay, combine, nope, I don't want to do that. Ugh, I want you to go quicker. My problem was his Taboo Witcher was on my Tsunami Stalker, so let's go like that instead. And here, let's do this. So my Shining, so my Wind Ranger is a little safer from the, um, from the Assassins of Dan. And okay, so we're all feathers into the top. So here you here you go too on this. And see, he went for a corner position, um, which I don't think helps him because notice he's getting destroyed by everything I throw at him. Um, and also, Shadow Crawler will be an upgrade over my Taboo, but I do want the Shining. Uh, but I do want to if I can get a three star Shining Archer, that can obviously push me over the edge too. And oh nope, I am going to be out of the game because it's not happening. Oh well. And I'm interested why. Let's let's look why. I'm sure I would assume items probably. Oh yeah. Oh my. Wow. Holy. Like look at that. Okay. That's why. <laughs> I'm like. I was gonna say from a comp and a position. Yeah. It, it, so from uh, team comps, I I'm I win. I would say like my team comp was better. My positioning I would say is better. But I mean, just look at these items. Right, he has tier three items. He has tier three multiple mat like that's sick. If, if you remember, I I had two uh, tier two items. And what about this person? This person's comp I give better because they had the assassins to jump onto my hunters. So I mean, I give that more to them. But yeah, I would kind of take it the same way. And yeah, see, they're getting beat by first place too. So just the fact that I fought first place before they did is unfortunate. But I mean, that you know, that's how the game goes. Unfortunately, I can't look at their other items, but I have a feeling they have pretty decent items on their assassins. But anyways, so that is today's game. Um, I hope you all enjoy. We're on our queen climb now. So what, we have 180-ish trophies to go. So hopefully we will get there. Last season, I missed queen by, I think, four trophies, four or six trophies, something like that. Something ridiculous, like such a minor amount of trophies. So that was soul crushing, but hopefully I'll hit it. And there you go. First place is a queen. So we are definitely getting into that range. I really wish this end screen would start to show items because I would love to see what items people have and where they put them. I think that would be a really cool add to the game just as a side note. But anyways, um, Feather Hunters, you can see um, Queen player also going for it and then myself and even one other player. So it is definitely something that's going to be in the meta. Six Feather is definitely going to be in the meta. Three Hunters are definitely going to be in the meta as top tier comps. Um, if you don't know them, learn them. But yeah, anyways, that is that. I hope you all have a great day and happy ranking, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.